top 10 Ugandan bloggers full of problems. We need to first make people understand who a blogger is and then quantify how many of the above people qualify to be bloggers. But they are believed to be bloggers in Uganda and we shall take it at face value. A blogger is someone who writes regularly for an online journal or website. A political blogger might provide weekly commentary on current events. A personal blogger keeps a website which may include diary-like entries, photographs, and links to other sites. Blogging per se has become a norm in Uganda. Many people who probably have some time and can talk have all branded themselves bloggers. This has invited so many problems in their lives and this can be attributed to a lack of proper education and knowledge of blogging and vlogging. Today we decided to take a look at bloggers that are in turmoil over numerous issues ranging from personal issues to loggerheads with government and cultural leaders. Number 10. Eddie Messiah The Ugandan self-proclaimed blogger based in Sweden is among the most embattled bloggers. While there are questions about whether he fits the bills of a blogger, that is a case for discussion another day. Eddie Mezaya, as he is popularly known, is among the few bloggers that have been throwing jabs at the Ugandan government from the diaspora. Mezaya, who started as a common entertainment commentator, jumped onto the political wagon sliding with the NUP wing which worked in his favor but not for so long until they turned against him. He then went into bad books of the red corner, while the yellow corner was also throwing tantrums for long-standing criticism from the self-proclaimed blogger. Number 9. Isma All Access By now, everybody in Uganda knows who Isma All Access is. Jaja Ichuli, as he calls himself, is one of the fearless bloggers that Uganda has ever witnessed. While he stayed in the Netherlands, Isma becomes a household brand in Uganda even before he could return. Much as his return seemed more forceful than peaceful, Jaja Ichuli continued to make a name even back home. He is popularly known for supporting Museven. The painter came out and declared his support for President Museveni majorly on grounds that there is no way he could have supported someone from the red corner. He was on several occasions noted saying that he cannot allow being led by a semi-illiterate and drug addict. Heavy statements he continuously used during the heated 2020 elections made him an enemy of a particular group of people in Uganda that did not believe in his ideology. Isma has on several occasions clashed with the party that he supports on grounds of unfair distribution of a cake. He constantly said he and other few bloggers were at the forefront of campaigning for the incumbent president but were never considered most times when it came to sharing a national cake. This put him in limbo where he was never happy with the government, neither on good terms with the opposition, hence leaving him a frustrated man. Number 8. Henry Ndugwa He is one of the bloggers that came out openly to show their support for the former Chadondo legislator. For so long, Ndugwa has been so critical of government while he played ping pong with the red corner. Preferably one of the most intelligent bloggers Uganda has got. Kakensa has on several occasions criticized the government and its programs. And this has put the two parties at loggerheads, and it is believed that this could have been the cause of his Facebook account loss in December 2020 that left him crying for, for a new audience. He rushed on to social media to throw his tantrums at the government when his page was pulled down by Facebook. My old page was deleted by Facebook. They failed to hack it and resisted to the coward way of reporting just like a lousy child. Wrote in Dukwa. Number 7. Calvin Rich Kayanja. Calvin Rich Kayanja, blogger turned activist, is among Ugandan bloggers that have battled problems in their life. A few years ago, Rich Kayanja was one of the most vocal bloggers that supported Kaguta Museven. 
and whoever spoke negatively about the first family of government and its programs would face it rough with the Dubai best blog. Calvin attracted enormous enemies, especially from the opposition, both in the diaspora and in Uganda. Due to mounting pressure, he gradually but steadily retracting into advocating for the rights of Ugandans living in UAE, hence forming an NGO called Calvin Kayanja Immigrant Care Services Limited. In this NGO, Kayanja recruits people that would wish to work abroad, especially in the Arab countries, but are also constantly on the lookout for those that are mistreated by their bosses while at work. Paul has not been a bed of roses there as well. Once a very vocal blogger has also been highlighted in scandals of obtaining money by pretense from people on grounds that he would take them abroad to work. Number 6. Serogatitis He is one of the most outrightly bloggers Uganda has ever had, a good researcher and a government fanatic. While many bloggers, especially in the diaspora, have always been critical of the government, Seruga has always written and submitted in defense of the government on several occasions. Bearing a patriotic heart, he has gone ahead to be critical of the Rwanda government and most specifically the president of Rwanda, Paul Kagame, for meddling in Uganda's business. Through several dossiers, Titus has always written on how the government of Rwanda constantly sends spies to Ugandan soil to destabilize Uganda. While he is one of the most celebrated by the government enthusiasts, he is one of the most hated by the opposition and the government of Rwanda. It was also rumored some time back that the government of Paul Kagame had put Titus Seruga on its wanted list. Number 5. TVO Tom Voltaire Okwalinga is also known as TVO, an anonymous Ugandan and famous social media critic of Uganda's government. He has always leaked a series of Uganda's government secrets through his Facebook. The government of Uganda till now has failed to understand the true identity of TVO. Much as it's rumored that Okwalinga could be somebody within the inner circles of the government, his whereabouts have turned to be a mystery as the individual himself. Well, Okwalinga became a maiden name in the Ugandan political landscape, he has gradually faded off the scene because Dr. Vesja failed to return on the ballot in the recent concluded elections, which was always a benchmark for his accusations. The blogger is now seen like any other blogger that predicts 10 and gets to read. Number 4. Raymond Solfa A.K. Peng Peng. Peng Peng made his name one of the most illicit bloggers in Uganda. His mouth can utter anything that it comes across. He's vulgar and X-rated. Raymond Solfa A.K. Peng Peng is a Ugandan blogger based in the diaspora whose credibility has hit highs and lows on several occasions. Having championed a regime of abusive and illicit blogging, Peng Peng has been a blogger. Number 3. Kaye Wisdom Wisdom Kaye is one of the celebrated bloggers much as some of us don't find what he does as blogging, but he's one of the most outspoken. Having come onto the limelight moments before elections, Kaye has been so vocal on different things but most notably poking the government on matters of national concern. He's believed and proclaims to be the support of the government and power but speaks differently at times. He is known to have come out in support of Bobby Wayne on grounds that he felt he had done a lot to win the recently concluded election. This state of limbo he was in created insecurities on both sides of the yellow and red corner, hence turning him into a threat on both ends. Shockingly, Kaye was mentioned among the bloggers that came out declaring the president dead, much as he came out to deny the allegations. Number 2. Ashbag Kato Ashbag Kato is one of the highly rated bloggers in Uganda. Having started his blogging from the ghettos of Kamocha, Kato came into the limelight as a blogger for the red corner until he was fished into the yellow camp. While he was in the red camp, Ashbag was throwing tantrums at the government in power in several disguises, including the ghetto TV. When he was 
fished before the elections, the big fish turned guys towards the red corner, hence creating enemies without borders. Some people in the yellow corner could not believe in him while he was being attacked from the red corner. On so many occasions, Ashberg has come out crying fall on how the government has not supported him in his endeavors, regretting why he even made the decision he made. Number 1. Fred Lumbuye aka Chemical Ali Fred Lumbuye aka Chemical Ali is one of the bloggers that have not been here for so long. He only came to be known following the recent concluded elections. Lumbuye was so vocal and critical of the government. While throwing jabs from the diaspora on behalf of the Red Corner, Lumbuye gained an enormous following for his predictions and what seemed to be inside information as he always claimed. It was not until he started attacking the people of the president and the kingdom of the it was not until he started attacking the people of the president and the kingdom of, of Uganda that things turned sour for him. He called the president and the Katikro of, of Uganda all sorts of names, claiming they were involved in many atrocities in the country and the kingdom respectively. Chemical Ali fired the last bullet when he declared the Kavaka of Uganda Ronald Mwenda Mutebi and the president of Uganda dead. So many people attacked and turned against him. It was not until he came out on the list of the people that were to be arrested for declaring the president dead, and as we speak, he's battling with the authorities and risks being jailed for quite a long time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more amazing content.